orange guts, baby. You know it. This is weird. I haven't had the I haven't had the garage open for a video in a hot fucking minute. I've actually got nice lighting. My face looks normal. All right, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Mark II TT video. We got our boy uh, Elias, Mr. What the hell is your quiet Mark Six on Instagram? Go follow him because his car is dirt nasty. Today we're gonna be doing some uh, some hot boy brakes on the uh, the TT because they've been dying since I bought the car and lucky for us. We are going to be throwing some Brembos on the car. So we've got ceramic pads and we've also got rotors and everything ready to go on the car today so we can get a little bit more stopping power and get rid of the uh, the horrible pads that are on here that litter that just, they're sorry, cake the, the rims in brake dust 15 kilometers after driving the car. Like I washed this car not even two days ago and I've only driven it maybe 40 kilometers and look how dirty the rims already are. These were perfectly clean just a couple days ago. So we need to get rid of that and hopefully add some stopping power because I'm starting to get bugged by a bunch of people locally to go do some autocross and everything as well. So might as well a little bit of upgrading while replacing what we need to. I would like to put bigger brakes on the car, but until we do make a substantial bit more power than what the car currently makes, we're not gonna waste a couple thousand dollars on that. And then hopefully I might also still be able to get my RPF ones from my Mark VI setup to still fit the car because these are 17s and I do currently have 18s on the car. So we'll see. And then that way I can go, go race, right? Give me. You want? Yeah. He wants to trade me for his RS, I don't even know, RSE 10s. 52s I think. 52s that he has on his Mark VI for these to put on this, but they have winters on them right now. No, yeah, track see? tires. Liar, <laughs> liar, liar. Okay, so let's get the TD, or the, I was gonna say the TDI, fuck man. <laughs> Let's get the TT in the air and get the wheels off it. This is gonna be super, super simple, probably a quick video, and then we'll go for some some brake tests and stuff. Like, I don't even think this is gonna take us 30 minutes because I'm a professional. <laughs> yes. Dude, it's so funny, the caliper carrier on this makes this Cal like it make it look so oh, much bigger shit. than it actually is. Like the caliper is actually so small. Yeah, caliper is like this, right? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, because I'm ditching the rotor, so the entire caliper has to come off the car regardless. A word? A word? In my ass. Okay. Bing bong. Bless the Lord, whoever put these on last didn't soup over tighten the rotor. Yeah, I'd say a, uh, a new rotor is in order. That's the old one. And that's the new one. Look at the lip on the side of that. God damn. <laughs> Spray that down with some brake clean real quick. Get all the oil off there. So now we gotta put the piss or the the new pads in. Here's the pad that just came out of the car. Look how thin that is. And here's the new Brembo pad. Look at the difference, how much meat side by side. Oh my Lord. Yeah, so I think it'll stop a little bit better. <laughs> that is for sure. Okay, so to get the caliper off of the carrier, you don't need to undo the carrier bolts. I did just cause I was, uh, you have to take, well you have to take the, Carrier off to get the rotor out, and then once you put the carrier and the caliper back on, you just have to you have to undo the guide pin bolts that are on the back to get the caliper off of the carrier, because as you can see, it's like one big, huge honking guy. And once that's off, you remove this little guy that covers the uh, brake pads, and then it should just separate like that. So throw the pads on, bolt it all back together. Wait, you're putting it off first? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because this will, it's just, it'll slide straight on. Oh, really? Yeah. Ooh. Or, uh, effectively it should. Uh, I shouldn't say it will. Oh, wow. 
like a glove. <laughs> like a glove. <laughs> Alright, so I actually would quickly want to see if my RPF ones will fit. We got the driver's side done now too. Skimmy that up. Oh my lord. Oh that fitment is insane, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> Hold on. Let me just get one lug nut on here. Oh my Christ. <laughs> Like, I don't think you guys understand. Zoom in. Look at the fitment. Look at how tight that is. Like, oh my lord, those fit absolutely perfectly. Look how, look how well the brake like fills out. Oh my god. These will be insane for drag racing. Like, bro. Oh my goodness. And doesn't hit the wheel weights or anything. Dude, that is insanely tight. Oh my lord. But yeah, so that is insane. So I might actually look into maybe getting a wider 17 RPF one then for the track. But the brakes are in, so we will now, uh, we're gonna put it on the ground, go bed them in. Sorry for the lawnmower noises in the back, but yeah, we'll go bed them in and see how much, uh, how much better these ceramic pads perform compared to uh, the shitty brakes that were in it before. I think it's gonna be pretty sweet. So I'll put the RSC11R back on and torque it all up and go for a little rip ski diddly. All right, so we've got the brakes all nice and bedded in and I'll give you guys kind of a sample of how uh, how well they can brake here as I go left around this corner. But yeah, here's, here's 70 and we'll go pretty much 50% brakes. Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty good. And they're quiet and they're super quiet. So these are the, uh, I believe these are the Brembo N N A O ceramic pads. So these are kind of like a a daily driver, medium use, like not quite full track oriented pads. I mainly didn't want to go full track right away, but I did want to go uh, to a ceramic just because obviously this is going to have a lot longer pad life. This will stand up to more track abuse than a normal. Um, semi well, not a semi-metallic, but other compounds of brake, as you guys are well aware of that know anything about different brakes and that kind of thing. And then obviously the, the pros of having the low brake dust for a carbon ceramic is also another big pro, but there you go. So now we've got, uh, we've got Brembo brakes on the TTS. Um, yeah, like I said in, uh, in my last video, don't forget to go check out uh, the Reckless Co. website as we do have stickers like my windshield one up there is now available. Oh, that guy was is now available on the website, so go pick one of those up if you are new to the channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like the video, share with your friends, and I hope for those of you that use this as a bit of a tutorial, found this a little bit helpful. But anyways, guys, peace out. Enjoy the nice weather if you do live in Vancouver as we do have a little bit of nice weather now. Uh, but peace out, guys. See you in the next one.